everyone. My apologies for that. Um, I've been sick, so I kind of lost my voice. Um, but uh, my personal fake story is that I grew up in a family that was very anti-Christianity from my mom's side. She's a very faithful Buddhist. And my dad's an atheist who just tells me, go respect your mom, whatever she tells you to do, do it. Um, but a strong person doesn't need religion. Um, <clears throat> religion is for people who are weak and just need something to support them. And there's nothing wrong with that. But do you want to be a weak person that relies on something else that doesn't exist? Or do you want to be a strong person? So throughout my life, I lived by that. I just listened to what my mom told me to do. And on the inside, I was just very ambitious and I tried my best in everything I did. <coughs> I grew up in a pretty poor family and I was told already from the get go that I had to get a scholarship in order to make it into college and you will fail and die if you don't make it into college. <coughs> so I did really well. I would say that I got over 4.0. I was part of a lot of different extracurricular student council, um, theater, sports. I did everything right. And I didn't get a bad score on the SAT. And I couldn't get a scholarship into really any school but UCR, which for those of you who are um, in California, it's not a bad school, but it is one of the lower ranking UCs. <laughs> And I was just really disappointed because with how hard I tried and all the things I achieved, I really thought that I could have gotten into a better school like UCLA or um, UCSD with a scholarship. <coughs> I was really disappointed, but that was okay. Um, I went to school in freshman year. My best friend committed suicide and she has said that her reason was because of me for background information this was a friend that i risked my life to protect in a gang fight <clears throat> and not only that but almost like right afterwards i think it was the weekend of my dad was diagnosed with cancer <clears throat> so just like that my life was just flipped upside down and there was nothing i could do and i began to contemplate suicide because i felt like what am I worth? I can't, my grades started slipping. I wasn't doing well in the jobs that I was in. I felt like everything was just wrong. Like I didn't even get into the college that I wanted to. <laughs> and it was in that moment that my friend or roommate actually took me out to campus ministry. And that was where I heard the gospel message being preached. And I was told that no matter what, I am a daughter of Christ and Jesus died on the cross for my sins because not because I earned it and I don't have to earn it because he has already done it and when I heard that message I just broke down and cried and I accepted Christ because I realized I did nothing wrong I did everything I could but I'm just human and it's not about me being weak and needing someone it's the fact that I'm human and I needed God. Um, and of course now, um, as I'm going through this journey of faith, times do get hard. Um, it was especially hard having to finally let go of my dad. But I think God really just set me up for a place to, for me to be in a place where I was ready and had the opportunity, many opportunities to share with my dad about my faith. <coughs> And he left with all of his family by his side and God was sovereign over that. Um, and so I think continuing on, it just, there are hardships, but more and more God reveals more of his heart and just more of his story that he is a loving God. And even in times of suffering, there is goodness in just knowing God. So that's my um, faith story.